watching another video. I'm back for another video. Today's video is going to be how to smell good in tropical or how to smell good in the summertime. So I'm going to bring you guys some summer scents so you can be smelling all fresh and amazing when you come home. Okay, so um, first things first, you don't ever want to cover up scent or you don't ever want to cover up odor with scent. So wash yourself. Wash your crack. Wash all the nooks and crannies and make sure you wash them well. Um, so you can wash with something like um, Dove or um, um, Caress or um, what's other soap brands? Ivory, um, um, just any, any bar soap. Um, or you, maybe if you choose to use body wash, then you can go with like a standard Dove body wash or a baby Dove body wash or an off-brand Dove body wash. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Dove either, but just a body wash that is going to be like a body, a bar soap or a body wash or both of them in conjunction with each other. That's going to be like not drying on your skin and also one that is safe for all your nooks and crannies. That's especially uh, important for us ladies. Um, but you know, to each their own, like if summer eve and badges smell and things like that work for you, that's cool. If regular bar soap works for you, that's cool. If perfumey stuff works for you, that's cool. It's what works for you, but always, you know, check in with yourself. Make sure that the things you're using are getting rid of odor and cleaning yourself and also make sure that you know, it's reacting well with your body. Don't have to tell you guys that. Don't know why I'm telling you guys that. But it's part of the fun. So let's get into it. So, here's how to smell good and drunk. So yeah, you'd wash yourself with um, a standard type of body wash or bar soap. And then you might go in with a fragrant body wash. This one is from Maui Moisture. Um, they're, I don't know if you can see, because it's yellow liquid and a yellow bottle, but it's like down to here. It was up to there. Um, so they're commonly known for their hair products and their natural hair products and so on. So you can find them at places like Target, Walmart, um, I don't know, probably TJ Maxx, uh, any drugstore, any place really. Um, yeah. So they also make body care. Um, you can pick this up again, Walmart or Target or any place like that. I think at those places it retails from anywhere from nine to fifteen dollars. I, however, got this um, at the dollar store for like four dollars. So it's a steal. And this is like a really big bottle. Um, so this is in the scent pop pop. Pineapple papaya, which that's where the how to smell good and tropical comes in. So the scent of this is very, it smells like juice. It smells like a cocktail. Like it smells very pineapple, peach, papaya, and sugar. It smells very, very good. Um, it says here that for oily and combination skin, um, it's sulfate free and it says that it has coconut water in it. So it's gonna, it is not stripping, so it's not gonna strip your skin, like it's gonna get you clean, but it's not gonna strip your skin, you know, where some body washes make you really, really dry and your skin's rough. So it's not going to do that. Um, it does smell nice. It does work well. It, and my only complaint is that 
I would like when I use this to smell the scent more like when I get out of the shower like you know sometimes you get out and you can't even smell like what the scent is which sometimes that's a good thing if you're gonna like use different products and layer with different things you don't particularly want to smell like just that thing but in this case where this smells really good and works really well I would like for it to be a little bit stronger that's really good but with this routine that I'm going to show you, you don't need this to be stronger because you're going to layer everything together. So let's recap. So you use a mild soap to really get yourself clean. And then you go into this as your scented soap. Or you could use something like this, which is a Bath and Body Works um, Sparkling Peach Sangria. I love this scent. It smells similar to this one, but this has like a little bit of spice on it and you really get that wine note like a sangria. The notes in this are sliced peaches, white wine, and orange peel. This is amazing. And then I like to exfoliate. Sometimes I'll put like baby oil all over myself and then like exfoliate myself with a scrub before I shave because I find that really makes your skin smooth and that helps you get like a fine um, like get in really close with the razor so this is a scrub this is also by Dove this is exfoliating body polish it's called and this is in the scent mango no, crushed almond and mango. Mm. So this smells just like it says. Literally like mango, but more like peaches than mango to be honest. And a little nuttiness, but not a lot. Um, and the texture of it is like that. I don't know see that it's kind of like it's it's a very light scrub it's not like harsh on your skin and it's very very moisturizing it has a pretty good lather Let's see it's a very nice scrub So then when you get out when you get out of the shower or the bath you want you're going to want to put some lotion on. Now I would suggest using like a lotion that's not that scented because of the fact that I have other things that you're going to layer on top of that. Um so I would use like a vanilla um, lotion, an unscented lotion, a cocoa butter lotion, a shea butter lotion, those types of things, me personally. However, you could use any kind. Where we're having, where we're keeping it tropical, you could go with a peach scented lotion, a papaya scented lotion. Um, like I know Bath and Body Works has the um, agava papaya lotion or whatever it's called or like the hibiscus lotion those would work really good um or like Nivea has the Q10 lotion that works pretty good though I wish it was thicker and more moisturizing um but yeah recently I've been using the cocoa butter um for like scars and stretch marks and so on that one's pretty good but anyway so after you pick whatever kind of lotion you want to layer on top of this, then it's time to go in with perfume or fine fragrance mist. And I have four options. Now you can use these things together or interchange, I can't even talk, interchangeably, whatever the word is. So the first one I have matches this 
which is the Sparkling Peach Sangria from Bath & Body Works. This smells so good. I prefer it in the body wash, but the spray is so good. I actually picked up two of them during the semi-annual sale that's, going, that's still going on right now. You really get that wine note. Oh my god. It literally smells like a glass of white wine sangria with like peaches and apples in it. Um, doesn't say the notes, but the notes are the same as this, which is sliced peaches, white wine, and orange peel. So you could use this, or you could use this, which is from the same line, Bath and Body Works, um, summer, like, drink line. So this one is the Lemon Dropped Martini. Okay, so let's talk about this one. When I first smell it, I immediately smell lemon peel and sugar, but I have worn this and I have smelt it, picked it up and smelt it, and sometimes I get a bit of a coconut note from it, so I'm guessing there's coconut in there somewhere. But yeah, this is really good. And it's not heavy or nauseating. So if the things that I just mentioned were really um, like strong for you, then you could just top it off with this and you would still smell good, um, summery, and tropical. But it wouldn't be too strong. If you wanted to kick it up a notch and make the scent really last longer, then I would go with this sparkling peach sangria. Or, you know what, you can mix them both together because a splash of this and a splash of that, instead of going really heavy with either one of them, you'd still smell amazing and all these scents work in conjunction with each other. Um, yeah, another thing, when we were talking about the lotion that you could use, I was going to mention this Golden Sunflower from Bath & Body Works. I don't have the lotion here because I actually gave that to my mom, but this smells like shea butter and like sunscreen. So picture like the mix between shea butter and sunscreen. So it was very summery and I used to not like this when I first got it um, during like fall, um, during the pandemic. I think I ordered it from the Bath and Body Works website. And um, I didn't like it at first, but the more I started smelling it, the more I started to like it. And um, I used the Bath & Body Works Shea, um, Coco Shea um, body moisturizing body wash. And I think this is a dupe for that because they smell similar. So, and then the lotion I said I gave to my mom, she wears it all the time now. So then when I go, like, when I see her, um, then, like, I will smell it and I'll be like, what's that? She was like, oh, that's the lotion you gave me. So I think I'm starting to like it because of that. So this would have been, um, the lotion in this would be good for the option of mixing with these products. Okay, so let's recap. Sorry, I know I jump all over the place. But when it comes to the fine fragrance mist... I think I broke it. Sorry, the top's doing a weird thing. But when it comes to the fine fragrance mist, you could use the Sparkling Peach Sangria, the Lemon Drop Martini, or this would even work, the Golden Sunflower. If you want a more affordable option, which these are semi-affordable, but I mean even more affordable than the Bath & Body Works ones, then you could go with the Body Fantasy sugar peach, sugar peach and it looks like this um i got this from walmart for i think seven or eight dollars 
Now this is called Sugar Peach and it smells just like it says. It smells literally like a peach and like sugar. It literally smells like peach juice or something. And this is really sugary and sweet. So great for summer. So this, even though this has more of a wine note, the sparkling peach sangria, because sangria means wine, um, this one by Body Fantasy is a great dupe for it, in my opinion. And if you don't have this, or you wanted to mix something with this, and you couldn't, then I would get this one. So these are the sprays that you could use. If you wanted to layer even more, say pick one of these sprays and then still have a perfume on top of it, an actual perfume, then I would recommend Rihanna's Rebel Flare, which actually I have upstairs, but I forgot to bring it down for the video. So what I will do is I will take a picture of it and I will put it right here, okay? So guys, you're watching Jay Poetic. Uh, stay tuned for more lifestyle videos, uh, product reviews, and videos on spirituality. Thank you for tuning in for How to Smell Good in Tropical. Um, <laughs> and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not Patty LaBelle, but you should hit that bell. Did you do it yet? Did you do it? Did you do it? All right, guys, take care. Hi, guys. Really quickly, this is Jay Poetic. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I forgot to add this into the How to Smell Good and Tropical from Head to Toe video. Um, so this is the, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff smells amazing, just like mangoes and shea butter, as it says. Um, it's pretty moisturizing. It has kind of a liquidy texture, so I was kind of, um... I was kind of worried that it might not be moisturizing for my hair texture, but it is. And, um, yeah, this stuff will have your hair smelling really good and really moisturized. And, again, it is a leave-in. So, I'd like to add that to the other products that I showed you guys. All right, guys, have a good day. And I'll